Hi there. In this demonstration, we're going to see how to do an ANOVA test using Minitab Express. And we're going to do the two examples. Um, they're actually oversimplified examples because the numbers are simple, the sample size are the same. Um, and there's a case one where the three samples have similar means, and a case two when the three samples have disparate means. And in this case, and in, in both cases, we tested the claim that all of the population means are equal. And from this sample, um, we did not have enough evidence to reject the null hypothesis. And in this example two, uh, case two, we did. And these were oversimplified because we went through the, the work involved. And if you went through that, you saw the work was, there was plenty of it, and it gets even worse if the sample sizes aren't the same. Um, but none of it's too bad if you're using Minitab Express. So let's get to that. We'll do case one first. Test the claim um, that the population means are not all equal. All right. Okay, so let me get over, let me minimize that. Here's our data. The data is in an Excel file or an Excel worksheet. Sample one, sample two, and sample three. So I'm just going to copy that. I'm going to paste it right over here into Minitab Express, right? And I'm going to go to ANOVA. It is a one-way ANOVA test. And the first, the, the, the dialog box opens up and there's this, this option, you know, menu right here. And the first thing, the default, is that the responses are in one column for all factor levels. And that's not what we have. What we have here are the responses are in separate column for each factor level, right? Okay, and so I want to get column one, sample one, that's one response, column two, sample two, that's another, column three, sample three, and that's another. Comparisons, we're not going to do any of these graphs. They give us a confidence interval plot, which I think is actually nice to demonstrate um, why the results are what they are. So I'll just click OK. And you get all sorts of stuff up here. But the main thing I'm looking for, analysis of variance, right here. There's the F test statistic, 2.73, and there's the p-value, 0.1056. Now, regardless of our significance level, I think it was 0.05, that's going to be too big. So we are not going to reject the null hypothesis. And the null hypothesis in an ANOVA test is always that the means are all equal, and they're all the same. So we can't reject that, and we can't say that the um, th that at least one of the means is different from the others. And you can sort of see why that's the case. If you look at this little graph they give you for confidence intervals, you'll see that the confidence intervals for the means all overlap. So they can't really um, you can't really say one mean is is greater than any other mean uh, with any confidence. But if we go to our case two, the disparate data. So case two, here's our sample one and sample two are actually the same. It's the last sample and what has a much higher mean. So I'm going to get this data. I'm going to copy it from my Excel spreadsheet there. Copy. Um, and I'll paste it over here into Minitab Express. Nothing really changes except that third sample. And I run through the exact same sequence of events. I click ANOVA, one way. My responses are in one column for all factor levels. That is not the case. Right? We actually have different columns for the different factors. Column one, bring that over. Column two, bring that over. Column three, bring that over. We're going to do this. We're not going to do any of these comparisons, but we will keep that confidence interval plot and click OK. And what you see, again, you've got a lot of um, additional output that you don't necessarily need. But you come over here, the analysis of variance. Now we have an F statistic, an F test statistic, an F value of 28.18. That's pretty big, which results in a p-value less than 0 0.0001, right? So regardless of our significance level, we are going to reject the null hypothesis that all these means are the same. So at least one of them is different from the others. And you can see why that is the result when you look at this um, confidence interval graph they give you. 
sure, these first two, there's no, a lot of overlap, right? There's the mean and then the margin of error, so you get the confidence interval and the mean. So these first two overlap, but that third sample, it's way out there. And that's why we eventually came to reject the null hypothesis that the means were all the same, because of this third sample here. All right, in any case, it is calculation free. You just enter the data, press a couple buttons, and as always with Minitab Express, it's fast and easy. And we're done.